In business, network and a strategic partnership form an integral part of business expansion and promotion. In this regard, I find myself today at the Central Hotel Accra, where Enquiry Agency Carrier Network LBG, in collaboration with the Ghana South Africa Business Chamber, hosted a business and freelance affair with the aim of promoting trade, networking, and partnerships. Miriam Cranton is the project manager for Enquiry Agency and also a member of the South Africa Business Chamber. Hi guys, my name is Chris Moore. Welcome to House of Moore. Today I am here with Madam Mimi Cranton. Let me allow her to introduce herself. Hello everybody, I'm Miriam Cranton, project manager for the Enquiry Agency Careers Network and a member of the Ghana South Africa Business Chamber. Okay, that is that is fantastic. You, you heard today we have an exhibition here and then it's all about networking it's all, all all about selling it's all about having interpersonal relationship with ourselves as business people mm -hmm. and i'm super excited to be here mimi what 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 brought this particular idea okay so inquiry agency is a, a non-profit organization okay. and we are into three main areas careers guidance and development and under careers guidance we have interaction sessions and then under our careers development, we have work placements, which are similar to internships, but our work placements are more focused on fresh graduates who do not have work experience. And then we have our business development services. So the, so the business and freelance affair falls under one of the projects under our business development um, services, which is aimed at connecting um, already established companies to SME startups and even companies who may be established by locally but having region or internationally. So we create a platform for B2B and B2C networking. I see. Yeah. So how many businesses have you been able to get or come together? Or so as part of our business development services this year, we also organized we also organized Hub Nobakra. So with Hub Nobakra, we had 50 people in attendance, of which all were into businesses. Okay. Yes, and we connected them to our chambers. So we are looking forward to partnerships from Hub Nobakra as well. Okay. And then we also have this, which has 21 businesses exhibiting, both inside and outside. So, yes. so let's say, you know, let's say 70, but we can, we can call on the results when we start seeing the projects and the partnerships being established through this event then we can actually be more proud of ourselves than now yes i mean so how many what are some of the achievements that you've been able to do as a chamber oh okay so oh so as a chamber there are many so we can talk about businesses like first national bank okay. being a member of our chamber omega risk solutions we have um, jura care there are many so, so what the chamber does is the chamber provides um, a platform for South Africans who want to do business in Ghana. And not only that, but I would say that the Ghana South Africa Business Chamber is the highest investment um, body in terms of businesses in Ghana. We have the highest number, okay. actually. And also, the Ghana South Africa Business Chamber is very passionate about youth and business development. So you don't see partnerships like this with other chambers, only with the South Africa Business Chamber, where we actually involve the youth in our activities. And we do this through an um, NGO, that is the Inquiry Agency Careers Network. So I wouldn't go much into details with the um, achievements when it comes to the already established organization, because my president will be the best mm. to delve into that. But when it comes to youth development, we've also had a lot of youth volunteer volunteer with different um, companies through Enquiry Agency in the chamber. So we had youth volunteer with Wax Digital, with the chamber, um, we also have um, youth volunteer with other companies or the, the members of the chamber, recommendations, a whole lot in terms of youth development, doing an amazing job. Fantastic. Yes. So if somebody wants to be a part of your chamber, mm -hmm. what are they? What is the criteria? Oh, you simply have to send us an email at admin at gsabc.org admin at gsabc.org or oh, but it, so if you are a youth if you're a young person into business and you want to connect with us you do that through inquiry agency okay if you are an established business but within ghana you haven't yet to reach the bigger level you connect with the inquiry agency but if you're an international business expatriate or looking into investing into ghana 
then you reach the chamber for that so because they have the expertise to handle it at that level for you okay yes I see. interest so is there any contact for yes okay. yes let me give the email works best so with the chamber the email works best so that will be admin that is a d m i n at g s a b c dot o o r g and then for inquiry agency you can reach us at inquiry agency our inquiries with an e inquiry agency career at gmail.com or 024-816-5851 024-816-5851 okay so um i want to know do you receive any support from government or any i wish <laughs> <laughs> no but for this event we did have sponsorship from first national bank okay so we are very grateful to first national bank for believing in inquiry agency and for supporting freelancers and business um, young businesses and also already established businesses in Ghana the reason being that when we connect the already established sometimes they are in search of talent okay. or sourcing for talent so when we provide these form of partnerships it's a win-win for everyone okay. for the established company and also for the startup because this is a break into this is a break into you know a bigger market for the startup or for the freelancer and for the already established uh, company this is a chance to real real and nurture talent because they are looking at people who are producing quality and probably lesser than they could probably have paid for it by bringing someone from their country here when they can they can have somebody here with that level of talent to do it for them here so it's a win-win for everyone so we are very grateful to First National Bank, Standard Pensions Trust, Visual Lab Media, who is still shooting us as we speak. We are grateful to Pan African TV, who will be reporting um, about this on the news at 6 p.m. So, yes, we are very grateful to all our sponsors. We are also grateful to the Ghana Standards Authority for passing through. They came to show their support to the business community. Things are not easy these days. It's tough on. It's a tough economic climate. It's a tough business climate. So things like this help because at least you open up the businesses or the startups to the already existing expatriate business community. We also we are also grateful to the Italian Business Association. We had the vice president here early in the morning at 8 a.m. He came to see the set um, the setup assistant told us to calm down it's okay and then he left <laughs> after that. So we are grateful to all these people. We even had somebody walk you from the embassy of Russia who said the embassy will contact us he doesn't want to say anything for now which we understand but we are grateful because we don't know how they heard about it and why they showed interest but we are grateful we are not here to play politics on who is the winner in whatever is going on anywhere in the world we are just here to support our african and our Ghanaian and our youth here in freelancing in business in the corporate world yeah going forward what do you think government should inculcate in making sure that they help freelancers like you are doing so I would say government is already doing a lot. Usually when people are not informed, they tend to think the government is not doing anything for startups or businesses. We are in a country where you can escape taxes for some time. It's not a good thing, but it helps the business community here, I would say. I'm not saying we are promoting, but I'm saying that we have people in Ghana that can start business. It's not like the GRA doesn't know they don't exist. They are aware. But they just give them that leverage because they know that the economic climate is a bit tough. You understand? So the government is doing a lot. But what I can't say they could add is probably um, a less bureaucratic approach to certain things. That's why I'm very grateful to the Ghana Standards Authority, the FDA for also showing interest. Because when there's a less bureaucratic approach, people can have things done easier or easily. So, for example, if you're starting a business, then you can have your business registered with the FDA in just two hours. You'll be happy, won't you? Mm -hmm. Things can move on faster. So, I'll say a less bureaucratic approach to certain things, but I'll commend the government. I'll commend the government for doing a lot. I mean, so far. And both governments, I'm not being partisan. I mean, no matter the party, but for for what they've done so far in Ghana. But there's still more to do. Yeah. There's still a lot of work to do, but we are grateful. Yeah. Your final words. So past day the business and freelancer fair. We are here all day today. We are here tomorrow. 
if you um, and I don't know when she'll be broadcasting this as show. <laughs> But if you missed it, it's not too late to connect with the inquiry agency, to connect with the business community and see how far you can go with that. Maybe show your products and services to other people. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you too. And we thank you to the Ghana Canada Chamber of Commerce. No more is coming from for showing up and supporting us as well. We are grateful. We also had a close interaction with Marge Crystal, who is into luxury handmade beaded bags and accessories. I want to speak with the person in charge and, and just have a conversation with her. How are you doing, Mom? I'm doing very well. Please, what's Thank your you. name? My name is March. March? Yeah, March hey. from March Crystals. Okay, I yes. see. So this is what you do? Yes. You did them personally? Do. Yes, um, these are handmade uh, beaded bags. My goodness. Yes. So I made all these myself. Wow. Yes. So how many years? Does it take you to do something like this? <laughs> Obviously not yet, okay. but some days. Some days? Yeah, well, like what, um, what you're holding, okay. this took a day and a couple of hours, a day and a half, I would say. A day yes. and a half? Yes, and it, it, it took a day because these are quite like big beats. Okay. Compared to um, this kind of beats, okay. these take days to make a bag this size. I see. Maybe two days or three days. Wow. roughly to make like something of this size okay. using these tiny beads okay. so it all depends i really. see yes beautiful so how much are we looking at for this masterpiece mm, yes hmm. when you ask me to guess i don't you know guess. what i would say because this is, this is a pure work of art you know <laughs> yeah it's a pure work of art and a lot has, it, it is a lot has gone into it yeah but yes. guys guys just just check it out see, just just check see. it out there's more to see when you, you want see? to go for your engagements your weddings you know, i know how the girls lay it you know pretty you pretty to, things anyways you have to get her contact <laughs> and then she will she will sort you out yes i believe that's not something that's going to kill you no it won't <laughs> it won't very, um, i mean the prices are very moderate okay and like today being the fair we, we have some discounts available so okay. we are hoping to see a lot of people show up okay maybe by the close of the day or tomorrow, hopefully, mm. you know, we are praying for people to show up. I see. So where is your office located? If somebody wants to come and buy from you, where okay. can they find you? Okay, I sell online and okay. I also have an Etsy shop. Okay. So I'm on IG. So all okay. my information is on IG. So what's your IG account? Um, it's at March Crystals. At March Crystals. Yes. Okay. At March Crystals. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's fantastic. So um, do you face any challenges regarding to this particular business? Uh, you know, as, as, as an any, yeah, I think with any other um, business or venture, I mean, mm -hmm. there are going to be challenges, mm -hmm. but it's not something that we cannot overcome. Mm -hmm. So we try. There, there are a couple of challenges, like um, with um, like getting the right people to patronize. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the time they say, "Oh, made in Ghana products. Oh, they are expensive. Mm -hmm. they, they are not expensive." So I also want people to like appreciate the kind of work that goes into it. Mm -hmm. That it's not that we want to make our products very pricey, but you know, it's it, the way it is, mm. the increment on goods, mm. every, it's like every market day there's increment. Mm. And so, but media, the bags are affordable. What's here? The bags are affordable. Please follow her on yeah, IG and then do. get your, in fact, I mean, yeah, show them, show the them. Work of <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, I, I, I even have the corporate a, people. a laptop bag for the hey. for my corporate sisters wow. and brothers. Do you see that? Yes. <laughs> Do you see that? That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. You do so well. I mean, they come in different colors. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah so. I see. Show them. Oh, what do you have to do? <laughs> I'm like, come and get you. Come it's and get you. It's a moment when you want to Okay, thank you so much thank for your time, you, Thank and you. And do have fun here too. Oh, thank you. I thank know you, you get a lot of people to come and patronize you, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so we are here and I've seen some fantastic designs here. I mean, this pure work of art. 
I want to speak with the person in charge and, and just have a conversation with her. How are you doing, mom? I'm doing very well. Please, what's Thank your you. name? My name is March. March? Yeah, March hey. from March Crystals. Okay, I yeah. see. So this is what you do? Yes. You did this them personally? Is what I do. Yes, um, these are handmade um, beaded bags. My goodness. Yes. So I made all these myself. Wow. Yes. So how many years? Does it take you to do something like this? <laughs> Obviously not yet, okay. but some days. Some days? Yeah, so like what, um, what mm -hmm. you're holding, okay. this took a day and a couple of hours, a day and a half, I would say. A day yes. and a half? Yes, and it, it, it took a day because these are quite like big beads. Okay. Compared to um, this kind of beads, okay. these take days to make a bag this size. I see. Maybe two days or three days, wow. roughly, to make like something of this size okay. using these tiny beads. Okay. So it all depends. I really. see. Yes. Beautiful. So how much are we looking at for this masterpiece? Mm, yes. Hmm. When you ask me to guess, I don't you know guess. what I would say because this is, this is a pure work of art. You know. Yeah, it's a pure work of art and a lot of... It, it is. A lot has gone into it. Yeah, but yes. guys, guys, just, just Check it out. Just, just Check it see. out. There's I mean. more to see. When you, you want see? to go for your engagements, your weddings, you know, I know how the girls sleep. It's, you know, pretty, you pretty to, things. I know, you have to get her <laughs> contact and then she will, she will sort you out. Yeah. I believe that's not something that is going to kill you. No, it won't. It won't. <laughs> very, um, I mean, the prices are very moderate. And okay. Like today being the fair, we, we have some discounts available. So okay. we are hoping to see a lot of people show up. Okay. Maybe by the close of the day or tomorrow, hopefully. Mm -hmm. You know, we are praying for people to show up. I see. So, where is your office located? If somebody wants to come and buy from you, where can okay, they find I, you? Okay, I sell online and okay. I also have an Etsy shop. Okay. So, I'm on IG. So, all okay. my information is on IG. So, what's your IG account? Um, it's at March Crystals. At March Crystals. Yes. Okay. At beautiful. March Crystals. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's fantastic. So, um, do you face any challenges regarding to this particular business? Uh, you know, as, as uh, any, yeah, I think with any other um, business or venture, I mean, mm -hmm. there are going to be challenges, mm -hmm. but it's not something that we cannot overcome. Mm -hmm. So we try. There, there are a couple of challenges, like um, with um, like getting the right people to patronize. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the time they say, "Oh, made in Ghana products. Oh, they are expensive." They, they are not expensive so i also want people to like appreciate the kind of work that goes into it mm -hmm. that it's not that we want to make up products very pricey but you know it's it's the way it is mm -hmm. the increment on good every it's like every market day there's increment mm -hmm. and so but media the bags and they are affordable Okay, <laughs> never ask me a follow-up. Please follow her on IG yeah, and then do. get your... In fact, I mean... Yeah, show them. Show them. Work of art. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, I, I even for have a, people. a laptop bag for the hey. for my corporate sisters wow. and brothers. Do you see that? Yes. <laughs> do you see that? This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. You do so well. I mean, they come in different colors. Yes, yeah, so. Yes, yeah, so. I see. Show them. Oh, what do you have to? Have a fun. Come and get you. Come it's and get you. It's a moment for me, one and Okay, thank you so much thank for your time, you, man. Thank you. And do have fun here, too. Oh, thank you. I know thank you get a lot of people to come and patronize you, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thank